It's a pleasure for us to be here this morning and uh, to share our results for June 2013 with you. I think we need to start off by looking at the um, turnover, the unit shipped and the gross profit as well as EBITDA and if one looks at those lines um, there has been a, a relatively positive um, movement since last year. However, uh, unfortunately we had to make some decisions from the board side this year to write off some goodwill in uh, the European and UK market, I think just purely due to the performance not coming through what uh, we would have hoped for. And uh, yes, if one looks at the forecast coming from those particular countries, the fact that we didn't write everything off should be an indication that uh, we're still confident that we are in the process of turning that around. If one looks at then um, some of the issues that had a relatively negative effect on ourselves this year, um, since I came back in February, um, probably the most horrific couple of months in my life as well. But I think as we sit here today, relatively positive that um, issues such as cash flow, uh, that's been a major problem for us, that we've reversed that. We've managed in the last three or four months now to sign up deals with APSA Finance and people like Sasfin to assist us to um, resolve our sales model. Uh, and just to explain on that quickly, Virtually 100% of the sales that we did last year were done on a rental basis. In other words, we financed it internally. <coughs> Sorry, that created um, an issue on its own where we were under tremendous cash flow restraints for the period. Obviously, a higher interest rate that affected our bottom line. But as I said, we've seen the results coming through towards the end of June and obviously post um, our reporting period. We've seen in August in particular where... Um, We've managed to, to turn the sales mix around where we're now utilizing the funding from the SASFINs of the world to um, allow us to do transactions, make shorter term profit as well, and not just working on um, annuity income. And I think that was one of my missions this last four or five months to actually just turn that sales model around. Secondly, we've spoken about the impairment of the goodwill in the UK, that obviously had a massive effect on our bottom line. But other than that, on the international side, we've also found that um, the losses made from uh, the previous years were also reduced by about 70%. So there's definitely hope for us that uh, during the next year, we will see some uh, improvement coming from uh, the international market. Similar thing in Australia, where we moved over from green light to the c track side, there was a bit of a stock situation that has now been resolved and uh, we're comfortable that uh, there's an extremely positive outlook coming from the Australian market. If one then looks at the South African market, um, and again, it's unfortunately it's management, we've lost turnover around, around about 35 million on our stolen vehicle recovery side. We've changed people around and we have again um, since around about um, June coming through post year and obviously now again where we've seen a massive turnaround in, in the sales, we've opened new channels, we've launched new products. So the relatively positive going forward that we will make up um, on our stolen vehicle recovery and we will announce uh, some of the new product launches relatively uh, in the near future. Um, the, if you understand our business, we used to get connection incentive bonuses from the cellular networks over the past years, that came to an end um, during around right about November last year, that obviously had a negative effect of about seven and a half million on our bottom line as well. But the good news there is that our monthly subscription will come down by approximately 75% uh, going forward. And yes, it is a process where it's going to go through over the next two years. But the savings we will have on a monthly um, will be um, a relatively huge amount as well. Um, so that will be. Um, allowing us then obviously to improve our profitability in the next 12 months going forward. Then I think another major coup um, or nice transaction that we've put in place recently is on the discovery side. The discovery ensure I think everybody's aware of it. We used to fund the units that we supplied to them over the last two years. Obviously at a cost we've managed to turn that deal around and effectively 1st of July 
Discovery will be paying for the units cash up front, and that will allow us, um, a massive swing um, in our cash flow going forward then um, to obviously then improve our bottom line as well because we'll be paying less rental, and that will allow us uh, to manoeuvre uh, with regards to our working capital as well. I think just talking about working capital, it's been an issue in the business for a good three or four years at least. Um, we've changed management team on that side as well where we've seen uh, collections coming in a lot more than uh, what we were currently selling or what we were selling within the last four or five months at least. And uh, we are now in a situation, we just do a comparison between December and now, I think that's down about seven odd million rand. Um, but we've just cleaned up that whole setup in that division. We've also managed to clean up our data uh, with regards to our customers. Uh, which maybe should never have been in the state that they were, but we're seeing massive improvements, as I've said, already on the data side coming through. So after all said and done, cash flow being one of our major concerns, uh, I think we're through the worst now, and uh, it should make life easier for us while we've changed the model at the same time. <laughs>